Okay, so now that we've done our warm-ups, it's time for our activity of the day. And I know we're not at school. We're not at school right now, but I was just thinking of some of the activities, the games that we've played, that you can play at home. Now, some of these, you know, it, it, most of these actually, it helps to at least have two people. So if you could, hopefully you have a sibling, a brother or sister, but if you don't, you, you have your mom or dad or your guardian, uh, you know, maybe a neighbor. If you're fortunate, some of you live close enough that you might have a neighbor right next door. If, uh, if your parents say that it's okay, that you could play with them, you know, you put on a jacket and play in the backyard or whatever. So anyway, this is the best that I could think of. So our first one is Orange Rock and Blue Bridge. We all know exactly what that is. That's one of the tag chasing and fleeing games that we play. And I got out to Google, instead of calling it Orange Rock and Blue Bridge, sometimes we called it Noodle Monster or whatever. It has many games, many names I mentioned. You know, I usually do this with you. And you do it back, so we are still communicating, even though you're not right here with me in the gym. So, um, this can be done. You do not have to go to Walmart and get your parents to buy one of those swimming noodles and cut them up. It's, these are just something that I use. You could use anything. Uh, you could use, uh, a, 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 you could ask permission to uh, use a wooden spoon. You could have like two wooden spoons and maybe the short one. Uh, so the long spoon would be the orange rock and the short spoon would be the blue bridge. Or you could even just pick a person and say, okay, so I'm gonna be orange rock and you're gonna be blue bridge. You can use things, a washcloth, different color washcloth, a handkerchief, anything. You, you smart, you can figure it out. So in the game, Ready, begin. So everybody is going around. The, the people that have the noodle, remember, are the noodle monster. Everybody that doesn't have it. So we're the chasers. They are the fleeers. And so let's say the chair is fleeing away. So the person, remember, it's very important. We use the noodles to touch the person, not hit or pop the person. We just lightly touch the person on their back, shoulder. And so once that happens, so blue, I know it's purple, let's pretend. Blue bridge, a blue bridge is where you go down and you make your body into a blue bridge. And so you have to stay that way until you become unfrozen. And the person just slides under or crawls under and then you're free again. And if they touch you with the orange, we know that you go down and instead of making a bridge, you just go down and you make yourself into a rock. And you stay that way until the person comes and says, oh my goodness, my friend is frozen. So you step over and you just touch them on the back and say, free. And so they're up and they're free to move around again. So I know that you know those games so easy. Let's go to the next one. Color tag. Color tag is where you have the people on the end of the wall and you have to have somebody, um, at least one person to be the it person, the tagger, and he or she will say, the color is blue. So everybody looks down and you look for your whole clothes. And I say, okay. I have no blue on my person, so I just stand. It's not my turn. But if they said, gold, uh-oh, I have quite a bit of gold. So I'm gonna, you would go from that wall and you try to jog down. You set your own boundary since you're at house in the backyard. But if we were here, you know, you go from there and you walk and you try to get past this gold wire down here without getting tagged. If you do get tagged, then you have to go out of there for just a moment. So they say, oh gosh, the noodle monster touched me. 
So now I'm out of bounds. I have to do either 10 jumping jacks or I could do um, five or six knee ups or I could do push ups. I forgot to do that. I was gonna do that earlier. Push ups, you're laying down, make your toes stick down into the floor. Open your fingers so your hands are right by your shoulders. Put your toes down and raise your body up to get in position. And then it's down and up. You can go slower. Try not to do it with your bottom up like this. And if you're not able to do um, more than one or two, there's always the other way to do it. When you're down, cross your ankles and go up, and you can do this way. So that's just a variation of how you can do those. So, you can do jumping jacks. <clears throat> you can do high knees. You can do push-ups. Oh, you can lay down on your back. You can do crunches, sit-ups. Then you're back into the game. Um, so after that person, has done it for a couple of times, then you just pick somebody new. So, I hope you can play that. I hope you have somebody to do it with you. Okay, this one is fun. Rock, paper, scissors tag. So remember on this one, you're, you're here, like, and so, uh, let's say my partner is who? Let's say my partner is Justice Allen. So Justice, or whoever your partner would be behind the goal line on the other side. If you were here, I'd go and I'd run. But since you're not, you say, go. So you go to the black line. And when you get to the black line, you face your partner and you do it quickly. You both go, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And it's either paper, rock, paper, scissors, shoot, scissors a rock, paper, scissors, rock. And so we know that rock uh, wins over scissors. We know that scissors wins over paper. And we know that paper covers rock. So if you win, so let's say that I was doing it now and I'm with Justice and we did Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And we both did paper. So we have to go again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And this time, Justice did rock. But look, I have scissors and rock crushes scissors, so I lost. So I immediately have to go and try to get behind the line before she can catch me. But if Justice and I both did the paper, and then the next time I did the scissors again, and she did paper, then I would have won, so she would immediately turn around, and I would try to touch her before she crosses the goal line. If, <clears throat> if she gets past the line before I tag her, she gets a point. But if I tag her before she crosses the line, I get the point. And so right now they say that I tagged her because of course, Justice, I would have got you before you get on that line. So let's say I'm one. And so we go back again, and then I would go back down here, and the score is one to three. Usually play the five, or 50, or 100, whatever you're doing. Uh, so that's what we to say. Now is basketball. Okay, so we're gonna stop on that one. And whenever we come back the next time, we're going to do another video on our basketball skills. Have a great day.